a locking mechanism is released and the testing module can pivot freely on a horizontal axis. The connection is placed in a position comfortable for operator to attach glove. Side handles are then tightened to prevent movement of the testing module when gloves are attached. Gloves should be installed on the inner ring. It is important to make sure the glove is completely installed on all sides before installing O-ring. The O-ring is then installed on the outer ring. Press the O-ring in with your fingers around the entire glove before proceeding. Loosen side handles and remove unit back to the upright position. Close locking mechanism and then tighten the knobs on the side of the module. Then connect the compressed air. Tear the magnahelic gauge with a small flathead screwdriver and then tear the digital gauge by pressing the hold button for 3 seconds. Open the inlet air valve to inflate glove until the pressure of 1.25 inches of water column is achieved. During this step, the operator should be precautious not to overinflate the glove past the pressure of 1.25 inches of water column to avoid popping a glove. Check to see the glove has been inflated straight out so it's not touching anything and is not folded or caught. Close the inlet air valve. Now, it is important to understand that there will be a leak rate present every time with all gloves. Two instruments are being used for this test. The analog wire pressure gauge, shown here on the right, is a good visual tool that indicates the leak rate. The Spear Scientific Digital Manometer, shown on the left, has a built-in timer and recorder useful to measure and keep track of the pressure drop over time. Two methods can be used for determining the time and pressure calculating the leak rate. Either the pressure will drop from 1 inch to 0.5 inches of water column at a specific time under 5 minutes or the pressure will reduce to a particular pressure after 5 minutes above 0.5 inches of water column. As glove deflates, tests will begin once the pressure reaches 1 inch of water column. Start the test by pressing the record button. This particular glove seems to be decreasing in pressure at an alarming rate. At this rate, it will most likely reach 0.5 inches of water column before 5 minutes are up, indicating a leak. The time it takes the glove to reach a pressure of 0.5 inches of water column is the indicator showing the degree of the leak. The shorter it takes the glove to reach 0.5 inches of water column, the greater the leak rate is. This quick decrease in pressure shows a fast leak rate is apparent. Again, for the second glove, we are going to open up the inlet air valve and inflate the glove to a pressure of 1.25 inches of water column. As it inflates, you want to make sure nothing is around the glove in order to avoid it getting caught on anything. Now we close the valve and press the record button when it reaches 1 inch of water column. This second glove seems to be decreasing in pressure at a much slower rate. At this rate, it will most likely reach 5 minutes before it reaches 0.5 inches of water column in pressure. The longer it takes a glove to reach 0.5 inches of water column, the lesser the degree of the leak rate. This glove indicates a slow leak rate. After inserting data into the leak rate formula, 
Glove 1 had a leak rate of 26 cubic feet per hour, and Glove 2 had a leak rate of 12.6 cubic feet per hour. Glove 1's number is much higher, indicating a faster leak rate. Glove 2's number is much lower, indicating a slower leak rate. 